Well, it's December, y'all, and you know what today is? Today is the first official day that I did not have to go to class, aka I am done with the first semester of nursing school. Yes, let's all scream for joy. I'm done. Hi guys, my name is Bianca and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Y'all, this video is going to be about my first semester of nursing school recap and what I've learned. If you would like to find out what I've learned, girlfriend, boyfriend, just continue watching during my first semester. And um, I'm going to share that with you. Um, definitely use my tips at your discretion. But this is what I've been, I've noticed, what I've learned, and this is what I plan on applying to the next semester, okay? To what I've learned in nursing school. So, um, de number one is def definitely be in constant communication with your professor. Um, basically, if you want to know if you're in constant communication with your professor, you have to ask this simple question. Does your professor know your name? And you can ask them to be like, hey, professor, do you know my name? And if they do not know your name, you're not in constant communication with them. If they do know your name, girl, you're good, okay? So that's number one. You always want to communicate with your professor. You always want to ask them for tips, tricks, or how, or what you should study, what you should focus on. And you just want to become acquainted with them so that way they know who you are. Because obviously you know who they are, okay? Um, so number two is try to read before class and um, visuals help too. So I know everyone has different learning styles. If you are not a reader, well I'm sorry to tell you you don't have to become a reader for nursing school, but that's what's the last point. But if you're not a if you don't learn well through just reading, that's okay because not all is done. Um, not all is end or all is fell. What you can do is start looking up visuals. And basically what those visuals are are YouTube, it's great. Um, I can't tell you how many times I went on YouTube for help on an exam or a particular topic. I've even found professors on YouTube that I watch because they help out so much and they help me retain the information and make it fun. Um, on top of looking at the back of your um, book, if you have a book like the chapter review, chapter summary, um, the learning objectives, um, definitely so that way you're not just completely clueless when you go into class. If you are a little clueless, I guess that's okay, but you don't want to be completely clueless. You at least want to know what's going on in class. My, um, my professor, one of my professors actually, and this is where when I realized that it was really important to read in class, there were little things that she would mix up, and those little things were actually big things because if you're taking notes only by what the professor is saying, and if she happens to miss something or miss a point or confuse a point or just like mix it up, if that question is on the test and if you um, use what the professor said, you will get marked wrong. However, like when I used to, when I read before class or whatever, if I noticed something was off, like, you know, you if this is the confidence that you get when you read before class, immediately, I'll be like, I'm um, saying, well, in the book it said it this way, um, so should we go based on what you're saying or what the book's saying? That's a good way to say, like, it's a good way to let the teacher know that, dang, not only is she reading up on her stuff, but dang, she just saved my butt and saved the classroom from misinformation. So um, that's my tip number two. Number three is a piggyback off of number two. It's pretty much when you're studying, use different methods, YouTube. Um, Recorded lectures, um, books, anything and anything. <laughs> Quizlet helps too to test yourself on questions. Um, I actually, what did I do? I use a combination of all these. Like with my at my program, we have our lectures also online. So each class has a corresponding like online learning. And basically, with that, you can go online or if you want you can listen to the lectures you can do practice you can do drag job 
you know, study guides. Like, there's a whole bunch of things. So definitely take advantage of that. And that's on that's on our canvas. So get creative with your studying. Studying and studying is not fun unless it's a topic that you really enjoy. However, it um you can make it worthwhile. You can make it interesting. Make games. Make mnemonics, which mnemonics are key in nursing school, in any healthcare field. <laughs> So medicine, anything. So mnemonics are definitely key. I personally didn't make any mnemonics. All I did was like, I mean, if a professor had a mnemonic, I would just use that mnemonic or whatever. So um, number four, and this is this definitely helped me a lot, is making a countdown. So I made a countdown for the semester, and I also have my countdown for next semester ready. And basically what that is, is I took a piece of paper and um, I wrote the quarter and um, I put the week because we have 11 weeks and a quarter and um, I for the a quarter where we had an exam I put the exam and if we had a major project or paper due I put it on there and what the exam was going to be about so as you can see E1, 2, 3, and 4 is when we were having the um, exam and then what we were having the exam on, I kind of just like put it on there, I guess, not really. And I also put my grade that I got for each exam and um, paper and stuff like that and I just crossed it off as we went on. And guys, when I tell you this really helped me a lot because it felt like sometimes the semester was just dragging and every time, every time Wednesday, because Wednesday was my last class, um, also my last class for lab, um, for the online class. So whenever Wednesday would come, as long as I had everything submitted, girl, I would cross that week off so happy and get ready for the next week. And it was nice. Like, I can't believe 11 weeks went by so fast, but thank God, glory be to God, <laughs> I have to put that in there because he definitely helped me through this semester and, and Anyways, um, five, be active in your school activities, if they have any, student nurse association, anything that you could do to help, you know, stay active, I definitely would recommend it, and I'm a big advocate for loving to be involved with school activities, because it's just fun, and whatever. Number six, um, I'm definitely gonna say know yourself. Um, that's definitely a number, I would, actually, I should have put that, you know yourself. And what I mean by knowing yourself, um, me, I love to socialize, you know, like, I consider myself a social butterfly, you know, I love to meet people, I love to talk, I love to, you know, I just, I just love people and I love interacting with people. However... One thing that I noticed, and before going into the program, because I sacrificed so much to be in this position that I'm in right now, I didn't want to fall into some of my old habits and create some of the mistakes that I created when I was in the community college doing some prerequisites. And that was socializing too much to a point where you forget the big picture. And what I mean by that is socializing where you look forward to going to class to chit chat with your friends. Um, versus going to class to get the material, study, so you can pass your exams. Um, and that's something that I had to, I knew, and it was hard, I'm not gonna lie, but I knew that about myself, and I knew that I'm social, I knew I can, like this, you know, fall into a group of people, and just like, you know, you know I, I know what I'm capable of doing, if that helps. And so I had to change my mindset, and I had to change my focus, and this little social butterfly ended up retracting into her cocoon and um, it's growing, you know? And so I'm in my cocoon and I'm just worried about the teacher, the task at hand, and um, just doing what I can so that way I can pass. Um, and what I usually did was um, I would sit in the front. front sitting in the front was okay. Um, sit in the front, answer questions or whatever, be active. Um, also, another thing is I change seats often if I noticed that I was sitting next to someone that 
badmouth the teacher, you know, or badmouth everything. Like the negative vibes, I just wasn't here for it. Maybe if you would have caught me like a couple of years ago, I would have been with you like, yeah, girl, that teacher sucks. Like they are terrible, blah, 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 blah. But now like I ain't got time for it. You know, I'm just like, okay, the teacher is not easy to understand. Therefore, I must utilize my off their office hours to help me understand because something is not clicking. But, you know, like... I don't surround myself with the people in the class that all they're gonna do is just like complain you know like they're gonna complain like they're gonna talk trash about the professor talk about their personal life instead of focusing on task hands the task at hands and also store study groups instead of focusing on the study groups it's like a Q&A session about your life let me know what you're doing let me know your background okay you and all this medical stuff no that is a waste of time and I had to know myself enough to know that in order for me to stay focused and stay on task I had to retract to my cocoon well not only re I didn't retract to my cocoon like I'm in a cocoon season right now so this is butterfly season so yeah so that's what I had to do and definitely know yourself if you know that you are that person that I'm talking referring to that always talks negative about um, the teacher and whatever and always find yourself with a group of people talking negative maybe that's something to reevaluate about yourself and um, switch switch groups or spend some time alone you know in class and don't interact with it because definitely bad energy bad vibes I noticed that whenever you know those people would complain and stuff they tend to not do so well on exams and you don't see them after like midway through the semester you know just just keep that in mind so that's what I want to share with you about knowing yourself okay and then lastly number seven girl boy enjoy the ride okay what I mean by enjoy the ride breathe and just know if you thought this was hard it only gets harder from here <laughs> so enjoy it and just continue to work and just continue to try to do what you need to do so you can pass um and give a satisfactory grade especially if you're looking to get into like a graduate program and stuff you know that's the obvious but yeah girl enjoy the ride enjoy enjoy so i am those are what i've learned um on my first semester of nursing school recap if you have any questions we'll leave them down below any video requests we'll leave them down below um and i will holler at y'all later 